everyone. I'm in Corey's car today. My car is blocked in. We have people putting in a new fence for us and we also have someone else parked in our driveway so I was blocked in and I'm too non-confrontational to just ask them to move their cars. So instead I was like, Corey, can I use your car? And he's the best and said yes. So I'm in Corey's car today. I'm headed to physical therapy and today I can tell already it's gonna be one of those days where I can't breathe. I am very congested. These days are my most miserable days because I have all my normal symptoms and then on top of it I can't breathe at all which makes me feel like I'm suffocating and nothing gives me relief and my eyes itch and burn and my nose just feel it's like stuffy so I can't breathe through but it's also running at the same time. Have you guys ever had that when you're like sick or have really bad allergies where it's like your nose is stuffy but it's also just like pouring out. I don't understand the science behind that but I'm very congested. Another problem is that I'm a hot mess. Also sorry I'm not looking at you guys but like I'm trying to be a safe driver. I'm not even in my car and I'm driving like a grandma I'm like up the front of the steering wheel. So I'm not gonna look at you. Another problem I'm having is that I lose my wallet, my keys, my phone, all of it, always. Everything I own gets lost except for my son. I don't own my son, but you know what I'm saying. I don't have my wallet and in Los Angeles, you basically need a wallet to park because everywhere costs money to park. So there is one parking spot at this building that I can have and I'm hoping it's available. No, it's taken. Okay, so now I have to figure out what to do because there's one free parking spot and it's taken. So there is street parking, but street parking requires money, which I don't have because I lost my wallet. And I couldn't find it this morning and I was gonna be late, so I was like, ah, I'll be fine. I'm sure that one spot will be open and it is not open. So I have cash in case I run into any predicaments, but I don't have change, and you need change to park at a parking meter, or you need a credit card, both of which I do not have. The destination is on your right. Relax. Let's so I'm kind of freaking out now because I don't know what to do, because I can't park super far away, because in LA you could keep, like, I could keep driving around and around and around, like, all over the different streets until I find free street parking, but that would mean I have to walk really far, which, like, I'm not even really capable of doing. I could park and look in Corey's car for change and steal from Corey. Sorry, Corey. I might try to do that, because I don't know what else to do. I found Peter parking right in front of the building I need to be at. Arrived. Thanks. Corey, I don't want to snoop through your car. What do I do? <laughs> I don't want to dig too much, but I see a quarter in there. A quarter buys me at least some time. Two quarters. There's more change in here. Corey, I owe you one dollar. I'm sorry I stole and I snooped in your car. Wow, you saved my life though, Corey. Once again, Corey comes to the rescue, even when he's not here. Look at me, Beyonce. Goodbye, I'm going to physical therapy. We are at the park celebrating Jacob's birthday and um, the kids keep throwing things. Boomerangs, I think, keep getting stuck in trees. Boomerang starts it and then they throw other things trying to get the boomerang out and then there's a football stuck and a soccer ball and there's a lot of things stuck in trees. Lenny's gonna throw it. Jakey's gonna throw it. You know, we missed the legendary cookie party on Christmas. And also, I was like, what cake do I want? What kind of cake? There's so many. Yeah. Well, why don't you just have cookies? I made those. They're not really cookies, but it's okay. Shh, it counts. Okay, good. All right, what is this? This yeah. is a cookie dough cone. A cookie dough cone? I invented it and made it because of a mistake. What is it? In the recipe. So what is it? So it's chocolate chip cookie dough, but it's edible. This is the funny part. It said milk chocolate chocolate chips, one cup. Of course, I have dyslexia, and I thought it said, I didn't read it over, and of course, I probably should have done that because I put milk in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I froze it. I froze it so now it's thicker. Okay, so it's cookie dough. Edible cookie dough. But mostly milk. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But there's chocolate chips and there's also, um, let's see. Looks like there's marshmallows yeah. in it. So it's marshmallows, chocolate chips, and milk. Should I, yeah. Yeah, eat it. And graham crackers. Okay. I'm gonna try my first. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. How is it? Cold, delicious, and good. Yeah. yeah. Remember you thought that was a mistake, Parker? You made it work. 
Yeah. Friend, what did you get? Did you get a cookie? Oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. Ooh, a cookie dance. Cookie dance, cookie dance, cookie dance. Cookie dance. <laughs> what in the heck? What? Is this from oh Uncle Oh my Ed? word! What? Is this like the $200 one? <laughs> Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. I'm not, but this is crazy. <laughs> it is oh, a two hundred dollar one. It is. I'm gonna kill this one, and I'm gonna squeeze it, and it is. <laughs> it's got a light and everything. <laughs> it's just a box, yeah. It's actually toilet paper inside. One pair of socks. It fits. Whoa. Once you put it on, you can never take it off, though. Is that the is that the, in the movie or something? Yes, it is. It's a show, by the way. Yeah, isn't it Star Wars? That's super cool. I don't get it. It's a Star Wars. It's a Star oh, Wars. Oh, 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 oh. Baby Yoda. Is it Yoda from Star Wars? No. I don't get it. It's the Mandalorian. Yoda's not in Star Wars. Yoda is. Baby Yoda, Yoda is. It's not the same There's person. No. I'm very confused. <laughs> Never saw that coming. No, you found one that's so cool. We were just talking about it. Really? I didn't know. I just thought I thought it looked cool for I really wanted it. And so then I thought you might like it. <laughs> this is like five days ago we were talking about that. That's crazy. So it's, it's not actual Lego because that didn't exist. I don't know if you already have this or not. Is this what I think it is? Oh, it's the but it's, 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 it's fake Legos. It looks very fake. That was not $200. No. Look at the white. Jenner and Michael. Thank you. We just got home from, we didn't just get home, we got home a while ago from Christopher and Jessica's house. It was fun to celebrate Jacob and we just watched the season finale of Good Trouble and they got picked up for season four, which is super exciting and I can't say anything. <laughs> I will get in trouble, so I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, yeah, it uh, was good. It's a good, where it's good. Anyway, I'm very tired. I'm very uncomfortable tonight. Like I'm just constantly like fidgeting and squirming and trying to get in a position that makes sense and nothing makes sense. Like the belly's so high now that like my boobs, you can see, rest on my belly. It is fully like a table for boobs and for food to fall upon. And it's really uncomfortable. It feels like everything's just crammed in there. I don't know how anything fits. Oh my goodness. This is random, but I need your advice. I can't decide what to do with my hair. I cut the bangs and I liked the bangs, but there's a lot of maintenance and then I didn't like the bangs and sometimes I like the bangs and sometimes I like hate the bangs. I don't know. Bangs on me don't look like how they look on everyone else. I'm trying to grow them out and they're kind of blending into the rest of my hair, but now I'm like, should I just chop it all off? Why not, right? What do you guys think? Should I just chop off all my hair? That's the question of the day. So my hair is growing out and I wanted to grow it out. Um, I chopped it all off when I was on Broadway. It was hard to get used to, but then I really liked it to the point where I even cut it again. Like it was growing out to like here and then I was like, and I chopped it off again. And now it's getting pretty long. Let's see. What's happening? Should I chop off all my hair? It's pretty dead. I need to trim anyway. So it's either I cut off like this much, but what if I like chopped it, you know? Is that too much of a mom haircut? I don't know guys. I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. Should I keep growing it out? How's it looking? How are we thinking? Can't do middle parts anymore. I've decided it doesn't look good on me. And even though it's in style, it's just not my jam. So I'm just gonna stick with the millennial side part and flow with that. Cause I'm trying to grow out these freaking bangs. So I'm just kind of blending them into my hair. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm just gonna flip my hair around. Like whatever, I don't even care about it. But tell me what to do, please. Vote in the comments below. Say yes, cut your hair. Or girl, no, let it grow. Or bring back the bangs. Or never cut bangs again. How do you feel? Tell me, because I don't know what to do, but I'm feeling like I need to change because I'm like pretty bored. And I'd like to do something to make myself feel better. Let me know. What do you guys think? Should I cut my hair? 
You guys, I forgot to upload my vlog. <laughs> the problem is like, Corey edited the vlog, reviewed the vlog, I exported the vlog, made a thumbnail for the vlog, uploaded the vlog, had it all ready, but then we had to go to Jacob's party, and so it wasn't done uploading, so I was like, oh, I'll just do it right when I get home. Then we got home, and the finale of Good Trouble was on, and Eric and I were talking about things that had to do with the show, and I, anyway, if we just didn't, I just forgot, and now it's 11 p.m., and I'm like, I guess it's too late to post it now, so I just set it for the morning. Morning. So the day you're watching this, you should be getting two vlogs because you'll have the one I was supposed to post yesterday and then now today. I feel like I didn't film very much today. Maybe I did and I'm not remembering anything, but I feel like I didn't film anything. Tomorrow I have therapy <laughs> and I want to film a video or two if I'm feeling up to it, but I don't know. And then Friday I have doctor's appointments and this weekend I scheduled a play date for Flynn and I'm so excited because Flynn doesn't have any friends. <laughs> I mean, he does have friends, but like, you know, family, which is awesome. My family's amazing. Amazing, and they're all my best friends, so I'm fine with that. His cousins are his best friends. But I scheduled a play date with a friend to have a little friend date, and I'm so excited. So that's this weekend, and it's gonna be so cute. I am pregnant and uh, it is showing. And so every day I'm like, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be doing these vlogs. I don't know if I can do it anymore. And then somehow every day I still kind of do it. So I just feel like they're getting so boring. Cause like all I do is just like talk about being pregnant and my symptoms and then like I say goodnight. Like, I don't know, like <laughs> guys. But yeah, I'm gonna go take a bath and then I'm gonna try to get some rest. Tell me what to do with my hair. And I love you all very much. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, baby. If I remember to upload this. I don't think I have any footage. I don't think, I don't know what this vlog, oh, I don't know, whatever. You, I love you guys, good night. <laughs> you can relax, Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home, but now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.